welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and this video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. I have early access to The Sims 4 High School Years, which is the upcoming expansion pack. But with that, I also have early access to the free base game update that I'm guessing is going to go live just a couple of days before the pack comes out. And I thought in today's video, we would look at all of the upcoming free base game updates because honestly, they're really, really good. And I cannot wait to show you guys. I do want to say that I don't have patch notes, so there might be stuff that I'm missing in this video, but I'm going to be showcasing the main features that are coming with the base game updates. And also this software is not final that I'm currently playing on, so some things may still change. But let's start off with the body hair. This is actually going to be a free base game update. The new pack comes with some like additional options for body hair and shaving, grooming, trimming. That is all for the pack. So your sims can have body hair, which is the base game, but with the new pack, you can also shave. But we have these new options here. We have arm hair, torso hair, back hair, and leg hair. You can see the icon on the ones that are from the pack, but like these two, like no leg hair plus some leg hair, these are just from base game. Then looking at back hair, we have this. Yeah, it comes in every color that your hair can also come in. This is matching his hair, but let's just make it black so we can kind of see better. Awesome, and then we have body hair, we have quite a few options, so no body hair. Then we have this one, which I quite like. Then we have more of a hairy chest. Oh, and the rest are from the pack. Let's leave him in this. And then looking at arm hair, we have one option, which is this one. Okay, and the same ones are also available for feminine sims. So if we go back to Raquel, she also has the options under here arm hair, torso hair, back hair, and leg hair, and I think it's all of the same options. With the pack, you do have this enable hair growth, and the ha hair will just grow, and you have to keep shaving it, but in just base game, we can now add body hair to our sims. I know so many of you guys have been wanting this, so I'm really excited that we now have the addition in game. All right, another new thing that we have in Create a Sim is a sexual orientation. I can't believe this wasn't in the game already. Okay, I'm gonna jump in here in voiceover form because since I recorded this, The Sims has released more information about this. So as we all know, currently your Sims can flirt and be romantic with anyone regardless of their gender but now you can set preferences and the menu is over here next to the gender options we have a new tab called sexual orientation and there's a couple different things in here the first one being this sim is romantically attracted to and you can do any number of combinations here you can pick men women both or neither then we have this sim is exploring romantically so if your sim is like sure of their sexual you can click no and their sexual preferences won't change but if you click yes their sexual orientation can still shift through gameplay if they're still like exploring themselves and trying to figure things out and then lastly we have this sim is interested in mess around with i'm gonna show you guys but obviously if your sim is an adult it will say woohoo and not mess around that's just a teen interaction and here again you can take both or neither or pick one so basically if you wanted to tell a story of an asexual sim you could leave both of those unticked but then again if you're trying to tell the story of an aromantic sim you could leave the first two up there romantically attracted to unticked but then tick one or both of these down here and we have a new option they can ask their close friends to be woohoo partners if they are young adult or older, they might say no, but they might agree. And you can now be woohoo partners, <laughs> which is kind of cool. And with that, your sims can perform woohoo without any romance being involved. So I'm very excited about this new update. I'm gonna leave the blog post linked down below. So those are the new updates to create a sim. Now let's jump into gameplay. All right, so we have a couple of new updates to gameplay. 
First of them being the phone UI was updated. So now if you click your phone, it looks like this. I'm honestly obsessed with this. I love that they look like apps. So firstly, you can change the background color of this just by clicking here. There's tons of options. I think that's really cute. And then you can also change your phone's case. I'm not sure if all of these are base game or not. But let's have her change her case color to a pink one. Here we go. Oh, well, that's kind of red. But yeah, it changes what your phone looks like in your hand. And yeah, in here, these two apps are exclusive to Sims 4 high school years. But these apps are available in a base game. These are like the same things we had before. But when you click on them, it opens up like a little menu. So from this one, you can browse the web play a game, then from this car, which is travel, you know, you can move, take a vacation. Then we have business, you can find a job, take a vacation day, stuff like that. And then we have the social one. We still have the same Instagram stories and you can call somebody, send a text, you can video call. Wait, I haven't seen video call before. I wonder if that's a base game thing or if it's in the pack. Wait, I kind of want to try it now. What is video calling? Oh my god. Yeah, I have no idea if this is in the base game. But then the last one is the camera one and here you can take selfies. Oh, I heard that there are some new selfie poses that will be in just the base game as well. So let's see if we can get any of them. Okay, so you can just click here. What does this do? We have like different emotions, angry, excited, flirty change pose <gasps> oh my god wait i need to see <laughs> these are fun oh my god i love this i love that they added more poses oh my god this one's amazing let's take a sad one. <laughs> oh my god i am obsessed so i believe these will be added to the base game which I'm very excited about. They look super fun. Another new thing that we have is that the whims that are usually here, they have been replaced by something called wants and fears. So she currently wants to call someone on the phone and she wants to chat with her crush. I haven't encountered any fears. I have been playing for a little while, but I heard that fears can give your sims temporary traits which will show up in here. It will say fear of something. Okay, so I'm gonna edit this in to uh, my base game update video, but I was actually just playing for a different video and my sim got a fear. So she now has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. Jayla feels unfulfilled and dissatisfied with how life is going. Jayla will occasionally become upset with her life direction. We got like a pop-up as well. It's almost as if someone is controlling her life. Will Jayla finally fulfill her dreams or will whoever is controlling her life stop her wishes from coming true? Obviously me. So this isn't permanent. This is just gonna be here for now. She's also feeling tense. She has looming anxiety from this fear. That anxious feeling looms over Jayla as she discovers something new about herself. A fear that wasn't there before, growing inside, ready to overcome Jayla into paralysis at any moment. This sounds serious, but yeah, these are the fears that are being added. Some of them are exclusive to the pack and some of them are also available just in the base game. That's crazy. Okay, another new thing has popped up. So, you know, we have our wands here. She has three of them. There's a new one now. So, this is from the fear. Discuss fears after fulfilling wants. From our fear of unfulfilled dreams. Is there enough time for Jayla to fulfill her dreams? Maybe sharing these fears with someone close will help. Complete one of your sims once and then click on a different sim and select discuss fears. Okay, so one of our wants is to relieve ourselves apparently she needs to go to the bathroom so we'll do that okay here is the option now discuss fears so let's do that and let's see if we can get rid of our fear trait that we currently have okay our friend is calming us down we're doing good 
Okay, we completed that and it's gone. Oh my gosh, perfect. Fear conquered from successfully confronting a fear. Breathing a sigh of relief, Jayla has overcome her fear. It feels like nothing can bring her down. I kind of like this edition. All right, so I've come to this empty lot to show you guys the final big new thing coming in this update. I know a lot of you guys will freak out. So now we have curved walls. So we basically have the option to create rounded rooms. And as you can see, that is fully round. There's no sharp edges. I can make a whole room like this. Look at that. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So there's three new options, the rounded room, rounded room large and rounded room extra large. So you can't build these with just the regular wall tool. Like it's not an option. <laughs> there's still going to be sharp angles, but you can pick up the rooms from here. And then obviously you can make the room smaller and, you know, shape them to be however you want. Like I could make a tower right now. Like that, excuse me, that looks amazing. Let me take off all the walls. So here we have our circular room and then I can just copy it and make another one. Like, look at that, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I kind of wanted to do like a lighthouse build, but I don't think they're the same size. I feel like they get a little bit skinnier the higher they go. But yeah, we can now create rounded rooms and walls, which is very exciting. Something people have been asking for for the longest time. We do have these new options here for windows and doors. Here it says supports all curved walls and this one supports large and X large curved walls. So you can put windows onto the curved walls as well and they look seamless. Some of the windows from the new pack especially look amazing. We can do the same for doors. Let's pick this door. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. I'm obsessed. So yeah, those are the new big features coming with the upcoming base game update. It might have some extra little things in there as well. I just don't know because I haven't seen the patch notes, but I hope you guys are excited. Comment down below what you are most excited about. I love the new phone update and I'm making a separate video on the new social media apps that come with the pack. So make sure you check the video out as well if you are interested in those. I love the sim being able to walk with her phone out as well. I don't know if that's going to be a base game update or just in the new pack, but it's amazing. I love it so much. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm posting so much content about the new upcoming pack, Sims for high school years. I'm very excited for it. So that's all from this video. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!